So finishing up that last problem, we're going to end up with the sine theta equals a special angle. So 2 pi over 2 x equals negative 1 half, solving for theta. So we end up with 2 pi over 2 x, we'll call that theta 1. Okay, is where sine equal to negative 1 half? Well, sine is equal to negative 1 half in those two quadrants. Okay, so we're going to have it at 3 pi, or sorry, 7 pi over 6. And then we'll use a positive version. That's going to be 11 pi over 6. So 7 pi over 6 and 11 pi over 6 are the two angles. So we get the first one will be 7 pi over 6. We solve that for x. Okay, we, we divide by pi. We end up with 7 over 6, okay, which is about 1.5. 6 repeating, so that's going to be about 1.16 or 7 over 6. Okay, uh, the theta 2, okay, well, that's our second angle here, which is 11 pi over 6. Okay, we're going to solve for x, we get 11 over 6, which is a, just shy of 2, so that's 11 pi. 11, sorry, not 11 pi, but 11 over 6 seconds. Okay, so those are two solutions. The last page here, uh, we're being asked to find the equation of the function. So again, same, same as before. Uh, we want to find the, the amplitude, the middle, and all those parts. Okay, so it looks like the middle, if I eyeball it some around here. Okay, I'm going to get all those parts. Amplitude is going to be the distance, so we're going to subtract divide by 2. Okay, so it looks like we have an amplitude of 8. Our vertical shift is the middle, so we're going to find the average by adding. Okay, so it looks like we're going from 12 up 8, down 8. Our period, if I just, I can just take any two arbitrary points. Okay, I'm just going to take, the, the max and min look easy. Actually, this point here looks kind of nice. I'm going to actually choose that point there, and this would then represent the next one. So otherwise, I'd have to use 3.5. Here, I'm just going to use 2. I can just use a whole number of values. Okay, not that it really matters, but I can see that I have the distance there is going to be 6. Okay, so that represents, I don't multiply by 2 because that represents my whole period, right? We're going from start to finish. So my period is 6. I'm going to use this coordinate here as my horizontal shift that looks like it's 3.5. So the equation looks like this. Y equals amplitude. I'm going to use cosine 2 pi over 6. The horizontal shift was 3.5. And the middle was plus 12. When I take a look at this last one here, basically I've been given the problem. I can get all the parts right from the equation. Amplitude equals 8. My vertical shift equals positive 4. My period, notice that it's in the 2 pi form, so my period is 10. And then my horizontal shift for cosine. I'm not going to write that down because we don't necessarily know if we're right, working with cosine, but we know that that minus 3. Okay, must represent, actually this is sine, isn't it? So the minus 3 must represent the starting point of that sine function, or the middle, middle of that graph. Okay, so we know that that is horizontal shift of plus 3. So there we have some references. You're being asked to find the position, that blue dot there, the position x. Okay, well, that's the x we're solving for. What you've been given is this position here of 7. Now, what we, what we can do is just use some symmetry. So we, if we can figure out either the middle here or the symmetrical point here, we can use any of that symmetry. So I'm just going to use, in this case, uh, I've got an amplitude or a period of 10. So what I can say that that point position is going to be plus 5. Okay, so that should represent half my period. I know that I'm going backwards. Okay, that's going backwards one. So to figure out the blue dot, I can just go forwards one. Okay, so 
So I'm just going to use that symmetry from there. I could also use, um, you know, I could use this position here. I think it's six. And I can go, or sorry, that's going to be five and a half, one and a half this way, one and a half that way. Okay, so there's lots of ways we could have done this, but I'm going to do it this way. So the x position is going to be equal to three plus, I'm going to say, and I'm going to make this vector go in the other direction. I'm going to make that green vector go in the other direction. So it's the end minus start, end minus start. That's going to give me the vector going this way. Okay, so end minus start. I'm just going to turn around that vector and make it go like that. Okay, so the x position then represent is going to be at x equals 4. Now, you don't have to use a vector form, but those of you who use vectors in, in physics, really, you should, you should be comfortable using that. Okay, but again, understand the difference between positions and distances. That's a distance of 1. We need to find the position of 7. Uh, sorry, the position of, in this case, we're going to find the position x. So we subtract those positions to get a vector, and we use that vector to get to the x position.